All right, what makes this decoration very creepy, apart from two zombie clowns trying to rip a child apart, is that uh, this place is like a, it's like a house for like disabled kids. I don't think it's an orphanage. Um, disturbing, to say the least. Disturbing. So part of my basement remodel is that uh, there's a concrete wall that was painted multiple times by previous owners so we need to put a skim coat of concrete over the top of it before we can do that we have to strip away all the paint and there's a product called peel away one and it peels away oil-based paints which is what's all over this concrete wall i've already applied it once but it wasn't enough i, I guess i misjudged how much to apply so luckily one of our local paint stores has just one bucket and i've got to try to make that last so I'm taking the, the Del Mar. You know what? I haven't named the Del Mar yet. I, I don't know what I'm going to name it. All of my previous motorcycles, not all, the two other live wires, they both started with V. Vivian was my street focus, my first live wire one, and then Veronica's, what is now the live wire 1X. And so I don't know if I want to stick with the V. We're just going to call it Del Mar for now until I, I feel what the name is. I said it uh, a few videos back, but man, this this bike, obviously it'll thrive in, in lots of different areas. I don't know if you called Preston Reynolds, thousand dollar review, and you know, he, he calls it an, uh, an urban, urban something, urban bike. You know, it'll be good in the city. Obviously it's doing really well in the gravel roads here. And, and what I really love about this is that I've done nothing to this bike. This is a uh, quote unquote out of the box. And it's just doing so well on these little gravel roads. And this is what I bought this little guy for. Uh, you know, I do want to do these quick little local adventures. And uh, to take any of these mountain roads that I wanted to. And the Lava R1X, that's for my bigger, my bigger trips, my longer distance trips. Del Mar's is doing such a great job. Alrighty, the basement drama continues. I have to go to the paint store to pick up some more paint removal. So I figured that I would tag you along with uh, setting up navigation, navigating to it, coming back. Bike is at 100% battery. I think it's gonna be right around 50 miles total that I'm about to do. So we'll see what the range is. Is it Sherman Williams? Yes, yeah, Sherman Williams. All right, so I don't know if this is going to come up on this little tiny camera, but it says that it's only going to take me 26% to get there. I, I, I highly doubt that it's going to take just 26%, but we'll see. We'll see if I get there at 75. All right, so I'm going to hit ride. All right, now I don't have my headset on. All right, the nav screen is up. It's tracking. I don't have a route on the screen yet. But we'll see if I, uh, once I start moving, if it'll update it. So what I like about how the, the buttons are, are configured, and I don't know if it's, if, if the bike is programmed to do this. So I, I started navigation, and if I go to another screen to mess with the setting, and I, then I hit the menu button again, it automatically goes back to the navigation screen, which is a really cool feature that it, it just kind of intuitively does that. Okay, so I still have no... <laughs> I still have no line on my... I'm just trying to see what direction it's trying to tell me to go here. All right, so it wants me to go to the right. I'll see if it ever wants to update itself. Yes, yeah, even on the map, it's not updating itself. And um, I've got two, at least two bars of service. So even whenever I want this thing to work, it just decides not to. So I'm doing this 30-day challenge mainly because I... I wanted to challenge myself and wanted to grow as a, as a creator, as a filmmaker. One of the hardest things that I am faced with uh, when I do my trips and stuff is when I'm like tired, exhausted, uh, annoyed, pissed off, like all those really raw emotions. That's when it's the hardest to hit the record button because not only do you have to figure out or solve whatever problem you're being faced with, you also have to figure out, okay, how can I convey this to camera? And obviously it's, it's very easy to just point it at yourself or point it at the situation and just hit the record button. And so it's just the struggle of, okay, I'm, I'm 
like today I'm just exhausted from working in the basement. That's all I've been doing the entire day. Granted, I got to ride earlier. I'm riding now, which is awesome. I, I'm, I'm just so tired. Like I, I can't think of any way to make a video interesting because all I'm doing is just drywall. Hey, welcome to Adventure Zone Zero, a motorcycle channel where we do drywall installations. And so it's, it's, today's just been a struggle for me. So that was a little over five miles and it was pretty much uh, one mile per percent and that was going like between 25 and 35 miles an hour so now let's see how it does at 55 solid All right, so these cameras don't do too well at night. I'll see you back in the basement. All right, so that was 59 and a half miles, 14 battery remaining. And I think it's important to note that in the 40s outside, so interesting to see how the range has changed from when I went to Charlottesville a few days ago, it was warmer, much warmer in the 80s. And here it is in the 40s. And I think when I got to Charlottesville, I had like 29% battery remaining. So that just goes to show how a, uh, a naked design, a smaller battery, and cold weather affects range. Alright, well I'm going to call it there. See you tomorrow.